What's going on all? Sween Holic here. Like last year, I'm presenting my five favorite additions to my toy collection from the year 2011, as we prepare to say goodbye to it. So what are we waiting for? Let's do this thing. Number five on my list of 2011 favorites is the Marvel Universe Cyclops in the 90s Jim Lee X-Men style. Scott Cyclops Summers is my favorite X-Dude, and Lee designed and illustrated my favorite rendition of him. So needless to say, I'm always happy to get this version of Psyche in a figure form. He's got all of the great articulation that lots of Marvel Universe figures have, as well as, in my opinion, a great sculpt true to his comic appearance from the time. The icing on the cake is the positioning of his left hand, making you able to pose him preparing to unleash his optic blast. With 2011 being the 20th anniversary of X-Men number one, this figure could not have been better timed. Everyone knows we're a pretty Masters of the Universe heavy site here at Pop Culture Network, so there's no way my list could not include at least something from such a stellar line as Masters of the Universe classics. At number four, it's Panthor. At first, I was unsure how I'd feel about an unflocked Panthor, but then I got this masterpiece in my hands. How could anyone not love a super articulate, lifelike, giant purple cat? I also really like Panthor's brand new unique helmet. It's such a great aesthetic complement to the combination of Panthor and Skeletor together. Panthor was one of my main must-haves out of the Masters of the Universe Classics line, and he more than makes the cut for my list. Coming in at number 3 this year is the Venusian from Biff Bang Pal's Twilight Zone line, as he appeared in the episode Will the Real Martian Please Stand Up, which happens to be one of my favorite eps of all time. While I don't know if it's a licensed actor likeness or not, I'd say the face sculpt does the late Barney Phillips enough justice, right down to his third eye concealed beneath his cook hat. Yes, he's a monochrome Mego-style figure, which is met with mixed reactions from the collector community. But as I have long maintained, this is a great style for figures from a black and white TV show over 50 years old. In what may prove to be a shocker, number two is the San Diego Comic Con 2011 exclusive Gulia Yelps from Monster High. Anatomically, she's no different from the other stylized Monster High dolls. But seriously, most guy toys don't even get this much thought when it comes to apparel and accessories. Gulia is cosplaying as her favorite superhero, Deadfast, and comes with all sorts of awesome convention items, like her con badge, a comic, a tote, and an action figure that you have the option of opening and returning to its package. Short of one being unable to get over the quote-unquote stigma of her being a doll, there's nothing about this figure that any collector, guy or girl should not love. In the number one spot, just barely sneaking past Gulia, is Transformers Prime RC. RC really did skid in at zero hour, as I got her as an early present in the first week of December. Anyone who watched my RC review has already heard all of the superlatives I have for her. Beautiful form, gorgeous face, and great posability. But the reason she earned my top ranking is that RC took me from simply looking forward to a toy line next year, to making Transformers Prime my number one focus of 2012. And there you have my five favorite acquisitions of 2011. Now keep the title of this video in mind. Nowhere do I say the best, but merely my five favorites. There are plenty of great toys that I missed out on this year that easily could have made my list, but among 2011's offerings that I did manage to obtain, these are my five favorites. And now it's your turn. Join the forums at www.popculturenetwork.com, look for the thread, and tell us your five favorite toys of 2011. Stay rad, friends.
Thank <laughs> you.